hi this video is about spring mbc property file configuration so i will be creating a spring mbc project from scratch and then i will discuss the different way in which we can configure property file in spring mbc we can configure a property file from class path or from the project folder we can configure we can provide the file system path for the property files also and the third way to configure is using environment variable if you want to put some property file on any specific folder on server which have particular environment variable then the third way we can use for okay so let's get started just create a let's create a project in sts new click on spring legacy projects give a project name say spring mbc property configuration okay let's just select the spring mbc project click next give the give a package name okay click on finish project is created let's open the project we have a configuration file in spring folder so inside spring context dot xml file we need to first add a configuration for property file so okay so we need to add context property placeholder context dot property placeholder so here we need to provide the location okay so let's add the class path first then so first we'll cover the class path Okay, so in the class path we need to provide the file name let's say we have a database dot property properties file okay okay so now we need to create a file path so, so inside the resource folder we need to create the file so let's create a database dot property file database dot properties okay let's add some properties here so let's say we have these properties for database connection so we already have a controller we can use this so this home controller inside this home controller we can use these properties so to get the properties from the property file we have value annotation in spring mbc we can use value annotation so here we need to provide the key name that we have given in the property file so let's check this the first is driver okay let's put it here Side a variable as driver okay so should be user so we have a user password and URL okay so this is user This URL let's change this to URL and we have password okay so we can use this default path so inside this path let's set these parameters into the model so let's set the attributes Let's add this. So 
So here we need to provide the attribute name. So it should be driver. Let's pass the driver here. Let's pass all the values to the to the UI. Okay, so here we have a user, we have a password, and we have a URL. Okay, so this should be user. This is password, and this is URL. Okay, so the control is going to the home.jsp page. Uh, so let's print these properties value into the JSP file so let's print it here okay so we have user okay we have uh, password and we have uh, driver and at last we have URL Okay, let's change this to user. This is password. This is driver and this is URL. So we are done with all the, all of the configurations. So first we have added the property placeholder to the class path. Okay, so this will load the property file which is present into resource folder this is the database dot property file we have created and we have changed the controller as well so we are getting these values from the property file to this controller using value value annotation we are doing this and we are setting these attributes to the model and we are passing to the model now we can print it let's run this on server so I'm using Tomcat for that. So let's select the server and run this. Okay, the application is started. Okay, so it is actually printing the key. Uh, so let's check the controller. So here we need to use curly brackets to get the value from the property file. Okay, so let's add this. Okay, so we need to use the dollar sign and then the curly brackets. So let's add these for all of the properties values. Okay, so let's run this again on server. Okay, so now we are getting the all the values from the property file so we have covered the first point using a class path so now let's say you want to get the properties file from the file system so so let's remove this from here okay let's copy this to some folders so let's say I'm adding this into my D drive folder Okay, let's remove this from here so we need to modify the context property placeholder configuration so this we need to provide the file here this should come from the file system and here we need to provide the path so the path is present into the D drive okay so let's run this on server again so it is working fine we are getting all the properties values from the file so let's cover the third point so so let's say you are you want to get the property file from the environment variable we have a java home variable so i'm putting this file into the java home so java for java home i have configured inside the program file Okay, let's go to the Java file folder. Okay, so let's put it here. So I'm giving Java home as the 
environment variable for the property files you can give any environment variable so first you need to create the environment variable and then you need to change that particular environment variable here okay so you just need to change the path here you need to the inside the curly brackets just give java.home okay so in this way you can get the property file from the environment variable okay so let's run this again on server so the all the values from the property files are coming successfully from the environment variable as well so these are the way to configure a property file in spring mbc okay that's all for this video See you next video. Bye-bye.